back. So today is Friday Favorites and Vlogs. And I actually have a giveaway for y'all this week, so stay tuned for more information on that. The first thing that I've been curling my hair with, and a lot of you guys have said you liked it recently, it's like a little bit bigger and it's just waves. It's more straight, but then I kind of just do waves. And I've been using this curling iron right here, and it is a one and one fourth inch curling iron. It's from the brand Babasque. I'm just going to show you the box right here. I'm not sure if I'm saying the name right, but Babasque. And the curling iron is called, it's a clipless, it's just a clipless barrel curling iron. This emits negative ions. So the negative ions help to reduce frizz and then like static electricity. I don't know if you guys can remember last winter, like whenever it kind of gets cold and the seasons change, I start getting really staticky hair and it annoys me so much. So I really like the fact that this eliminates static electricity and helps with frizz. So um, I've been using this to curl my hair. I love this because I go back and forth, like I'll curl away, I'll, so I'll curl like away from my face and then I'll curl one towards my face. and away from my face and towards my face and then at the end I like to go through and break up the curls so that it just kind of looks you know just really like just really effortless. It makes it look like I put not a ton of time into it but I just like the relaxed curls as opposed to the really tight ones that I typically do and that's why this bigger barrel is really good for that. So I'll leave the information below where you can find this. I'm loving it this week. It heats up really fast and it holds my curl, which is really hard to do when I have I have really long hair and some of these bigger wands, it's hard to get your curl to actually hold, but I find that this one does hold my curl. If you guys follow me on Instagram, you saw that I received a bunch of products from Moroccan Oil. Oh, I'm so excited because I have really been wanting to try some more of their hair care. I do have the Moroccan oil and I have a shampoo and conditioner which I adore. I love the Moroccan oil product. So I tried this Root Boost and first of all the Moroccan oil products, oh, they all smell so good and um, this is Set, this is noted as a weightless root lift that amplifies volume, adding movement and body. Thickens hair at the roots, but still provides like a natural feeling. I have to say I 100% agree with that. The reason I wanted to talk about this is, you know a lot of times when you're spraying products at your roots, it really makes your hair feel like stiff and tacky, and I don't like that. Sometimes I just rather not have any volume than have like stiff, tacky, like hair. You know what I'm talking about? Like the, what's that, what, what about Mary? Someone, something with Mary. What's that show, Mary? You guys know what I'm talking about. Anyways, I don't want to have like stiff hair. So I really love this because it is weightless. It still does provide that volume. My hair doesn't feel like tacky and nasty, but it does have so much volume. So what I do is my hair is like a little bit damp and I've just been like parting it and then just spraying it in there and really working it into the roots and then I just go ahead and blow dry. I used this one day and then I did dry shampoo the next and my volume stuck in my hair from using this product for like two days straight and it makes your hair smell so good and your, my hair was still didn't feel weighed down. So really, really love, highly yeah. recommend the Moroccan oil line. These are the, this is the Maybelline Color Sensational line lip glosses. This is in Raspberry Reflections. This is a gorgeous color. These are under $5 at the grocery store. They smell like Fruit Loops. I prefer these over their new elixirs. I just think that, that the texture is better. More product. I like this. I prefer the smell of the fruity thing over the um, perfumey scent. But these are beautiful finish. This is a gorgeous color. They have so many beautiful colors in the line. Some of them are really, really pigmented. And like I said, this is Raspberry Reflections. It's just a really nice pink color. It's a great topper. You can wear it on its own. 
Um, so I highly suggest checking out these Maybelline Color Sensational Gloss. The only thing about it is there's no print on anywhere on the packaging. So if you do want to know the color, you, it's like in silver writing on the very bottom. You have to like get your magnifying glass out to really read it. But yeah, this is Raspberry Reflection. So love this color and really love the this line of glosses. So I have been loving masks lately and especially from Glam Glow. In honor of breast cancer awareness, Glam Glow has this super cute packaging with the breast cancer um, logo on it right here. But this is the Glam Glow Youth Mud Tinkle Exfoliate Treatment. So ugh, I am obsessed <laughs> with this stuff. This stuff like seriously I love the Glam Glow products everything I've tried. This stuff is amazing. It has a little bit thicker of a formula than some of the other Glam Glow products that I've tried and it does have like a little bit of seaweed pieces in it and it doesn't smell like peppermint like some of the others I've tried. It smells just like a little bit different, almost more of an herbaly scent. Um, it's, and it's also a little bit thicker. So I apply this all over my face and I swear, and it, it does, it tingles, but I like things that tingle. I don't know about you guys because I feel like, ooh, it's doing something. It's really working over time. So I like when things tingle because in my mind, I'm like, oh, it's working. <laughs> Whatever the tingle. I mean, you could just have like a crap product and it could tingle. And in my mind, it's working. But this is definitely not a crap product. All the Glam Glow products that I have ever tried have literally left results on my skin that I can see afterwards. It's honestly like miracle in a jar. And that's why the price is up there because it's such good stuff. It's definitely one of those things that's worth the price. Now, I got this from beautychoice.com. They were so kind and generous that they offered a 30% off discount code on all Glam Glow products. So if you guys are interested in trying anything from Glam Glow, definitely take advantage of that discount code because that is such a great deal to be able to get the Glam Glow products at 30% off. I will leave the information and the code in the information box below. So just go ahead and check that out. Any of you guys try Glam Glow and what are your thoughts? Like leave your thoughts below. I'd love to hear everyone's opinions on the Glam Glow Because I do know they have several different products and um, I just like to know if, if anyone's tried an array of them and what do you guys think. So let me know below. Another newer product to me is from Jolique. This is the Rose Water Balancing Mist. Um, Jolique, this is really, really nice packaging. It is a glass jar, and it's just like a really cute jar. It's pretty small. I mean, it's like the size of my hand. Seriously, if you are a rose lover, you will love, love, love it. It says it's a hydrating mist, rich in rich in the living energy of rose and marshmallow to restore tone hydrate leaves the skin balanced and refreshed it really really does leave your skin so refreshed and spraying this on my face like when i take all my makeup off after i put all my wash my face and everything i just give a little spritz in the middle of the day i'll give a little spritz and use this to refresh and tone at any time which is what i love about these products rose is known to help with redness so if you have red or irritated skin, try some rose water. Um, but I highly, highly suggest the Jolique brand. I love this If you one. do not like the scent of rose, you will not like this because it does have a very strong scent of rose to it. And it's not like a fake scent. And it has like that sweet scent too with the marshmallow. So love this stuff. Definitely have been getting some major use out of it this week. Okay, so another oldie but goodie is this Anastasia Clear Brow Gel. I've talked about this before. You can find this at Ulta. They have some really good deals and kits. Just keep your eye out for it. This is the Clear Brow Gel. You know, a lot of people are like, oh, just use Maybelline. Oh, just use this one for a dollar. Oh, just whatever. I've tried all of it. I have some wild and crazy brows and they take some serious work to get in place. I love this one because I don't feel like it dries crusty. It doesn't dry crusty for me. It doesn't dry hard. It doesn't have a fake appearance. I just really like the way it comb the spoolie combs out my brows. I like how the spoolie works with the amount of product that's distributed into my brows. And I just feel like the whole thing is working together and it makes it worth the money. It has been by far and I have tried a 
ton of brands, both drugstore through high end, and this is the best that I have found. Now, and the same goes with the um, Anastasia Brow Wiz. Honestly, I cannot, like I've tried to like use up some of my other brow products and I hate my brows every day that I don't use the Anastasia Brow Wiz. I stopped trying and just go through. I was like, okay, I don't want to use it all up. I kind of got to like go through the rest of these, but no. I'm just going to use it all up, buy another, use it all up, buy another, because it's that good. But And, and that's the same way I feel about this clear brow gel. And the last thing up before my flop are these products from Agave. Oh, I love these. I love these. So this is the shampoo and conditioner, and they are sulfate-free, but, but they, they do build a really great lather. And what I like about them is they remove the buildup in your hair from styling products and I definitely need that because I do use a lot of styling products. They smell like wheat, pineapple, coconut, milkshake or something like that. It's just almost like a pineapple coconut dreamsicle. I know that's like a dreamsicle's orange but it just smells like that creamy like sitting on the beach. Oh, and it really does leave your hair smelling like that. So what I particularly love about these is if you do have color treated hair, it leaves, it preserves the color in your hair. So I definitely need hydration because I highlight my hair and I need my color to stay vibrant. And so I really love the fact when shampoo free, free, they build up because the thing that I don't like about salt free, sulfate free shampoos is when they don't build, like they don't have like that, you know, like I like the foam to come because I like the lather. That is what makes me feel like my hair is getting clean. I know I have a lot of things that make me feel like things are happening, but the point is I like a lather. And then also this oil treatment comes with it. Leaves your hair really nice and soft. It has the same smell. I do switch between my products, but when I am using products, I like to use them all together so my hair cohesively smells like one thing. So these products will be given away and there will be two winners who will win a set of the shampoo, conditioner, and the healing oil. I will leave all the information for the giveaway below. If you're interested in winning, then go ahead and check below. And also I am going to be doing a giveaway on Instagram. So with the same So there will be multiple chances and opportunities to win and check below for the information. I've just been loving this stuff and my pineapple, coconut, dreamsicle, hair. Okay for my flop. So I don't have it like I said because it's a lore, it's a nail polish and it's from L'Oreal and the reason I don't have it is because my daughter knocked it off the countertop when she was grabbing something and it shattered all over the floor and let me tell you it is it was one of those matte, the new matte colored nail polishes that L'Oreal came out with for, I think, limited edition um, for the fall collection, and it was teal. So I had matte teal nail polish all over my floor, and yeah, that took some time to clean up and dedication. But the point was, I had gotten a chance to paint my nails and wear the nail polish, Oh my goodness. Okay, I love the color. I love the finish. I'm not even kidding you. At least, at least, you, and you don't put a top coat on because it's matte. So, you know, unless you have a matte top coat that you'd like to use, which might help a little bit, but this stuff chipped like not even two hours later. I sent a picture to my friends like the next day and I was like, yeah, it was pretty, but 24 hours later, it was like half my nail polish was gone on each hand. It looked ridiculous. It was just not good at all. I So, I mean, I haven't had luck with any matte nail polishes, really, come to think of it, because all the other ones I use seem to chip a lot, like China Glaze. I hate China Glaze nail polishes, the, the ones that dry matte. It seems like a lot of them dry matte, and they all chip like really, really fast on me. So I don't know if it's just me or what. What are you guys' thoughts on matte nail polish? Have you found a brand that works that you can recommend to me? Because I do like the look of matte nails, but... Um, yeah, I just haven't been able to find one that works, so. So if you guys follow me on Instagram and stuff, you've been noticing that I posted a lot of stuff about Twisted Silver. Ugh, I cannot say enough about their stuff. Like today, I'm wearing the Capture Necklace with the Time Necklace. Every single piece is seriously my favorite. I love the way they all lay layer together. I cannot say enough good things about the company, about the product. 
about everything. So as you guys have probably seen, I am one of the stylists for Twisted Silver and they have come out with a new YouTube channel. I'm gonna link it below just so you guys can check it out. Me and four other girls are stylists on the channel and we create videos just showing you guys a little bit more information about the pieces and how they are styled. So if you guys are interested in seeing some of those style videos, they're really short and sweet. All of them are under five minutes or under a minute. But I'll leave the link below, so head over there and subscribe so you guys don't miss out. And especially if you guys are interested in the Twisted Silver jewelry, it's just I think it's just really fun to see how it's paired. Like I know a lot of times I'll see somebody wearing something and I'm like, ugh. I didn't think it was cute until you were wearing it and showed me how to style it. So I know a lot of things are that way, so that's kind of why this was born. And I'm just so excited for the opportunity. Stay tuned because they're going to be having giveaways coming for, up for um, subscribers. So and they're going to be giving away pieces of jewelry. Yeah, subscribe so that you don't miss out on that. Anyways, that is my Friday favorites and flops. Go ahead and leave below your favorites because you guys know I love to hear them. I. I definitely read through every comment and love reading what you guys have been loving for the week. So I hope you guys have a wonderful weekend. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Mwah.